it will be before the committee of the whole house where various amendments in regards to the proposals in the affordable housing bill will be considered There has been various issues raised before the committee dealing with uh, this aspect of uh, the affordable housing. And when members of the public appeared before the committee raised the aspect of uh, the high cost of living, calling upon the committee to consider uh, probably reducing the amount required for one to own uh, the house. A few minutes to come, say a minute or two, we'll be expecting uh, the clerk, the clerks rather, led by the clerk of uh, the National Assembly to complete that particular uh, tally. And at any given moment that particular tally is complete, the results will be handed over to the speaker to read the tally outcome. And uh, one of the most uh, notable recommendations is the removal of uh, section 32, 31, subsection 2A, which mandated a 10% deposit for eligibility for the affordable housing units. In the event that is accommodated, this change is expected to lower the entry barrier for the prospective homeowners. That way, a majority of Kenyans are in a position to own a house. The clerk is already before the speaker, ready to present uh, the tally. Allow me to hand you over so we can uh, hear from the Speaker of the National Assembly, Honorable Moses Wetangula, on how members uh, voted in regards to that uh, tally that was occasioned by a division from the House. On their feet. Take your seats. DK, take your seat. The tellers may move forward and announce the results to the speaker. Honorable Speaker, sir, in the second reading of the Affordable Housing Bill 2023, the 40, Manual for Ice 141, Nays 58. Oh, all the honorable members, keep again to take your seat. All the honorable members, I now wish to announce the results of the voting to the House. Order in a division on second reading of the Affordable Housing Bill 2023. The results are as follows. The eyes 141, the nose 58, total vote 199. Abstentions nil, so the eyes have it. Clark, can you read? A bill? Order, Angela. Order before you read that. Order 
before we conclude this, I want first to thank all members for your decorum. Apart from the errand member for Budalangi, the rest of the members observed absolute decorum. And Honorable Angela, you are supposed to be an elder to your colleagues here. So you can't sit there and be shouting at the top of your voice, Condor to standing water 76. So next time, be an example to your younger colleagues. It pays to do that. Order. Clark, can you? You can't ask a brilliant of order, Honorable Undo. You know the rules. You are second termer. We are still in division. We haven't finished. Order. Go ahead, Clark. A bill for an act of parliament to give effect to Article 43.1b of the Constitution to provide a framework for access to affordable housing and for connected purposes. You may now open the bar. On the division? The voting is over. Yes. Okay. Uh, Honorable Speaker, thank you very much. And I want to also join you in, join you in thanking members for having conducted... Honorable members, we are going to the NADCO report for those who are leaving. Yes, go on, Wandai. Okay. Honorable Speaker, I wish to join you in commending the House for having undertaken a very, very seamless uh, voting exercise on this bill. But as I do so, Honorable Speaker, I take note of the fact that the third reading stage of this bill has been lined up for tomorrow, Wednesday, 2.30 p.m. Tomorrow afternoon.